What's up guys, welcome back uh, to the channel for another match reaction video after a, after a loss. No surprise, I think nobody is surprised that we are losing these type of games. Uh, if you are, then you haven't been watching this season basically, or last season to be honest. And you're living on a different planet because this was, this is just normal, you know. Not accepting it, but it's normal, like it's not a shock anymore. Uh, we will talk about that. Uh, about the game and uh, some other stuff surrounding the game. Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification. Let's go. So, uh, Sassuolo 1, UV 0. Um, before the game, or like a, a couple of days ago, I was talking off air with Julian, and I was like, the post games are pointless because i'm gonna come on and gonna repeat myself and uh, i was like what the point what's the point of keep doing this you know doing them you know it's, uh, it's a channel so we need to do them uh you need to react to the game but it's absolutely pointless at this point you know um the fact that i'm not even surprised i don't think nobody is really surprised the fact that i'm not really angry anymore i'm just baffled by some other stuff uh i think that's the point where i'm we just need to sit back and be like, yeah, you know, <laughs> whatever, I guess, you know, it's up to the club to act, not not us, we cannot do anything about it, you know, <clears throat> we are, we're just terrible, <laughs> I'm sorry, like, if you think this is acceptable, or you still can make excuses for it, then you're not a fan, or, I'm just gonna call it out, you're delusional, and you're st stuck in 2015, that's the only two way. You're delusional or you're just not a fan and you don't really care about the club. Because other than that, nobody can sit there and say, be like, this is okay, you know? And I've been saying this for months. Even when we were on a streak and I came on and I said, this is not sustainable. This is not good. It will collapse because it had collapsed last season. It's just copy-paste. Only this season is even worse. We lost seven games in Serie A already. Seven. And that's only Serie A. I'm not even... Counting Maccabi, Benfica, and all those things. Seven in Serie A. This was the golden opportunity to win because you should be beating this Sassuolo team. I will add to it, Sassuolo are terrible. That was one garbage team. And we topped that. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Sassuolo are garbage. They're not good. They're not a good team. You've seen it today. They're not good. But we somehow managed to even be worse. So I'll put that out there. But it's not a surprise. That's, that's the messed up part. It's not even a surprise. We lost seven games already. This was a golden opportunity to, to get back into the top four race. Not sure if you get, get those 15 points back. You will see this week. But you need those 15 points back. And even then, I'm not sure we're going to make it at this point. Because if you lose those type of games, then who's going to tell, tell me that we're not going to lose away to Bologna and all those type of things? Why? It can easily happen. We're terrible. We play... Of reactions we're not proactive we wait we wait we can see it or something happens and then we react it's too late even the subs we were terrible the subs come after the damage has already been done it's terrible the management wise is terrible and I'll keep defending Vlaovic because you cannot basically judge a player on this season unless he's been here for years and even the previous years were terrible other than that I will not shit on Vlaovic. I will not shit on Milik because there's zero service. Again, how, how can you blame Vlaovic or Milik for not scoring goals in this team? Like, t tell me. Explain. We're absolutely terrible, you know? And then you have, again, I, I love Fajoli. You know, I, I like him very much. He actually cares. I get that. But you're crying in front of the camera away to Sassuolo. Like... This team is weak. Like, it's weak. Like, I don't... You made a mistake. It happens. Get over it and move on. Like, you cannot go out there and cry. You, like, you just can. Like, it's a way to Sassuolo. You, this is not a Champions League final. You messed up in the last minute. Then I'll understand you're crying. But it's a Sassuolo way. We're just terrible as a team. You cannot go out there and cry. I feel we look weak. Like, this team is weak. Like, from back to front, mentally, it's weak. It's done. The season is, even if you win the Europa League, it's a terrible season. And we're not going to win the Europa League. Like, there's no way you're going to beat 
sport team, you're probably going to get cooked because the pace that was on display today, that Sassuolo was matching, we couldn't even create anything in that type of pace. Like, it was an easy game to win, and we couldn't create any type of urgency, chances, pace. What do you think is going to happen when Sporting is going to go full attack? Because that's what they're going to do in their home stadium. Like, just think about it. So even if you win the Europa League, the season is a flop, a complete flop. I had people telling me, calling me out, saying Allegri is overachieving. Bullshit. How is he overachieving? We lost seven games. Sassuolo, twice Monza, Maccabi, got spanked by Benfica. Like, what are we even, dis- what, what are we even talking about at this point? We're terrible. We're a terrible football team. Like, I, I just cannot imagine somebody sitting there and be like, no, nah, it's not on Allegri. It's, it's completely on the players. Players have blame as well, but they have no guidance out there. They have one type of guidance, and it's not good enough to beat teams. We're very reactionary, and even them, we failed to turn around games. Like, so I don't know what, what, what the point is of playing off reaction when you even fail to succeed in that. I don't get it, and I will never get it. You know, for Allegri, I, like, he's one of my favorite coaches, but the two years he's back now, it's terrible. Like, <laughs> it's a terrible job. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's terrible. It's unacceptable. Do I think this is the best group of players ever? No. Do I think they are as bad as they're performing now? Absolutely not. We should be in the top four race, obviously with the 15 points, and we are in the top four race, but we lost seven games. We are in it because Lazio, Milan, Inter, they all lost seven or more games. That's the standard we are in. You cannot say, oh, but we're in a top four race. Yes, we are, because the other teams are terrible as well. <laughs> That's why we are, we're in the top four if you get those 15 points back. Not because we are great, because the other teams are terrible. You want proof? Look at how far Napoli is away from us. That's the proof how terrible we are. But again, we've been saying it. I've been saying it since before the World Cup. It's not sustainable. We don't create enough. We get away with a lot of stuff. And today we didn't get away. And against Lazio, we didn't get away. Against Sporting, we did get away with it. And probably on Thursday, you will not get away with it again. Like, I don't even know what to, tell, what to talk about anymore because it's the same thing over and over and over and over again. Nothing changed. Nothing will change this season. It's not players. Like, it's style of play at this point. You know, we're, I, I saw Milik again picking up the ball, shielding off possession in front of our box to build up play. How is that normal? How is that okay? That's a proof of how low we are playing, that our striker needs to control the ball in our own half and build up play from there. It's just not good. Like, and if, I don't even know what to say anymore. It gets worse. It gets worse every single game. Even if you get away with wins, like Verona, it was bad. It was just bad. It was unacceptable. But you get away with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You got away with it. So it's like, okay, fine. Let's improve. Inter didn't improve. Got worse, in my opinion. Lazio, terrible. Sporting, terrible. <laughs> this one, shocking. Like, it gets worse. There's no re- reaction. The players can come out with the bullshit saying, oh, we need to do better. You have Allegri coming out saying we still need to learn and improve in certain areas. The, the, the season is done in two months, not even. And he's talking about learning and improving. Like, I, I, I don't get it. I absolutely don't, <laughs> I don't get it. And that one, not one journalist come out, comes out and say, you know what? It's the end of the season already. You've been here two years. When are you going to learn? When is this team going to improve? Because there is no improvement. Not even a slightest improvement. I'm not saying go from this to winning the title now out of nowhere. But there's no improvement. There's nothing. Just look at the eye test. We don't improve in any, nothing. Like not a single thing. There's no guidance on that field. You have Gatti being the most dangerous player up to Pogba when he came on. Like that's all you need to know about this team. But again, it is what it is. Um, gonna wrap it up because I've said it so many times now. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. 
And let me know in the comments you make uh, of this result. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always. Uh, thanks for sticking around, I guess. Uh, see you in the next live. Ciao.